Hello everybody, welcome to Woodledge Ranch. Uh, before I really get started, let me introduce myself. My name's Kyle. I, along with my family, my wife and our three children and our dog Grace, recently purchased this wonderful property. We have a horse barn, a bigger barn in our house, uh, lots of land. Uh, we're here in southern New Hampshire, where it is now spring. It's, uh, yeah, it's mid-March, it's March 16th. Um, to give you an idea of the day and it's it's warm out it's in the 40s you know it's really nice all the snow starting to melt it's getting muddy uh, so we're doing spring things for a farm right so here we have our uh, horse barn it's uh, about six years old the people before us had it installed you know we moved in and they hadn't really cleaned it out so we got some uh, some horse bedding here and this few uh, horse droppings lying around but other than that, it's like in, it's in really good shape. A little, you know, a little dusty and stuff like that. But it's a barn. What do you expect? So one of our first projects was actually getting ice out of here. Um, this isn't supposed to ice over, but the people we bought this place from, they uh, weren't living here at the time. All winter, they weren't here. They had already bought a new house, so they were gone. But they still had it plowed. Right? We have a nice long driveway here. So they had it plowed, and we had like seven foot snow banks all right here. Um, so that was our first project, was clearing that out, because what it did was it dammed up the flow of water. So we chiseled out those snow banks, got rid of them, and now you can see the water's got a place to go. So it's slowly draining out. As this melts, it's going that way, and as the snow from up the hill melts, it's going that way. Now we just gotta wait for like, the ice that's right here. Uh, this doesn't really get any sun. The barn's blocking the sun. Um, you know, east, south, west. So this is always in the shade. So it's not really melting that fast. So it's going to take its time. But yeah, that was all because this was flooded. It was almost knee deep water right there. All right, knee deep. And that was flooding right into here into the barn. And that's not good. So that was our first thing, was to make sure this barn wasn't destroyed. It's a beautiful barn. Beautiful barn. I don't want it destroyed. That was literally what I spent the first weekend here doing, was making sure this didn't flood anymore. Uh, so now that that's done, what we've done, what I've done, with some help from the kids, is I've come into here. All right, so I've cleaned out this horse stall. You might be wondering, well, it's a horse stall. Why'd you clean it out? It was dirty. Someone else's horses were in here. And that's fine. What am I doing here? What, what we're doing is we're making this into a chicken coop. All right? We have a decent sized horse stall. You know, it's where a horse lived. It's got to be large space. We figured it'd be good for chickens. We got a door to the outside. This will unlatch and open up. Chickens can go out in free range around the yard. So we have 12 chickens and two ducks, which we didn't realize ducks grow so fast. We thought they'd stay about, you know, I used to have chickens when I was younger, so I, I know they take a while to grow. I didn't realize ducks get so big so fast. I mean, I'll just show you. So it's actually much later now. Uh, kids are in bed and I realized I forgot to show you the chicks and the ducks earlier. So here, are there chickens? Let's get right in there. Right, they're all huddled up, staying warm. But you know, my hand size. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. They're all fairly small. Got some Rhode Island Reds. I know it's hard to see with this uh, the red heat lamp. Rhode Island Reds. What's this one? One Orphington. An Orphington. What are these little guys? Uh, bantams. Bantams. We have four bantams. They're mixed, bantams are mixed breeds. And then we have one silky hiding over here. Yeah. Silkies are cool. And the black ones are barbed rocks. And the black Barbrox. ones are barbed rocks? Barred. Barred? Those ones. And this little one's a ninja. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so those are the chickens, okay? And then over here <laughs> are the ducks. Oh, they're, they're yeah, they're very mad. So these ducks are the same age or younger than those chicks, and you can see how big they are. You just like back off. I know. 
They're also kind of nasty compared to the chicks. They they don't like people. They don't bite. They don't bite, but were they eating the mealworms? Yeah, they'll come right to you if you stick your hand in. Squid will. He might be more wary of you. So the kids named all these things. Oh, they hear the mealworms opening. Mm -hmm. No, Cutie's protecting the squid right now for you. All right, so we got some snacks. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you guys like those. Now we're friends, right? Now we're friends. Food motivated. Are you food motivated? Once more, I'll give you a little bit more. Another handful. Got some dried mealworms. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> we're best friends now. So you can see how big the ducks are compared to the uh, the chicks. That's a ring. That's not a mealworm. Can't eat that ring. Can we be friends now? Can I pet you? That's my ring, you dummy. So yeah, ducks, that big. Chicks, this big. Oh, you're a ninja. Ninja's the tiniest one. Isn't that one ninja? The one that was doing kickflips and stuff earlier? This one's ninja, so yeah. tiny. Ninja's also the youngest. <laughs> Yeah, so Hi, we have Nick. our Nick, oldest nice. are these one, probably this one right here. Nick. Nick, named after my cousin. And then the Rhode Island Reds are pretty nice. Yes, they're all really So nice I think birds. the Rhode Island Reds are like the same size, same age <laughs> as the duck. To give you an idea of how fast the ducks are growing. So that's why we have to build them a house outside soon. Because they're kind of outgrowing these little bins. But I see your feathers are coming in. That's a good sign, because as soon as you get those feathers, you're out of here. Squid is yelling at you. All right, I'll let you guys look, go back look, to sleep. Look. Oh, they're starting That's to fly. Yeah, it's roosting. Watch the ones don't like it doing that. That's a ring. That's a ring. <laughs> Nick's over there, she's gonna Oh, Nick's not happy about that one. <laughs> For it. The pecking order. Yeah, look, it starts. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we put this on. <laughs> They're fighting to be in charge. So, yeah, we're going to put this up here so they don't try to fly out. I know it's not a huge cover, but it does stop them. So, those are our birds. So, you can see that they're, the ducks are a lot bigger. Uh, they're not going to be able to stay inside much longer. Once they get those feathers, we got to get them out of the house. Uh, they, they smell, number one. Uh, we do have, my wife cleans them out every, like two or three times a day. Um, so we're, we got to build a place for them. We've checked, you know, this is a good space for a chicken coop. There's some things we got to do. We got to screen in up here. We got to screen in up there. That won't be too hard. That's pretty easy to do. You just hold screen over, you staple it down. These doors, if I can close them, they close and they lock and it's solid. No animals can get in there or out of there. Even underneath, I'll show you on the inside. Right? So we have this, it closes, it's flush. Nothing can sneak under there. It's maybe an eighth of an inch space, not that big. Having recently become farmers, uh, my wife's a little bit concerned about the chickens. You know, she's heard rumors of like weasels getting in and just going crazy and killing all the chickens. So she doesn't want that. She said, can you weasel proof this? I said, I, I, I have no idea how big a weasel is. I don't know anything about weasels. I've lived in New Hampshire for a long time. I've lived in other states, Vermont, Massachusetts. I've never seen a weasel. Um, but supposedly, they're out there, all right? They're supposedly out there. Now, I've seen deer out here. I've seen turkeys. I want to doubt that there's bear out here. Uh, there's got to be fox. We've seen an owl. There's an owl that's hanging out in one of these trees somewhere. There's a lot of animals out here, but I've never seen a weasel. But that's the one thing she's terrified, terrified about getting in here, right? So, my wife is concerned that when we close these doors, right, we have these nice doors. And when you close them, there's actually a decent sized gap under here. 
right? It's got to go under, but a small rodent or something could get under there. So she wants me to weasel-proof these doors. I'll show you. Right, so there's a gap under here. It's not that big. But yeah, you can see it right here. So that's a gap. So something can clearly get in there and destroy the coop. Kill all the chickens that we've been raising. So what I've done here is I've gone through and I've created this. Just a little screen door, if you will, that'll fit right in here up to about this height. It'll we'll go about 44 inches, I believe I measured it. And it'll fit flush with this door. Okay, it'll fit flush with this door. And that will keep the small weasels out, supposedly. That's my goal, because they're not digging up underneath this floor. This is heavy rubber mat for horses. And they're not digging in through this thick wood. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to finish this door. And then we'll eventually screen all this in. We'll screen that door in. i got to figure out that. <sighs> I don't think that anything's going to climb up there. But we'll see. Just make sure the chickens don't escape through there. That's all we got to do. And then... Eventually out here what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a dog kennel And you might be saying why are you gonna put a dog kennel at the uh, chicken coop? Ah, I got a piece of sawdust in my eye and It's not gonna be for our dog, right? Our dog She's very well trained very well behaved. She always stays right near me My wife or mostly the kids. She loves taking care of the kids, but we have this giant dog kennel up near the house um, big steel fences essentially this it, they're solid they're solid i'll show you in a second and we have a few more of them up there and we're going to bring them out you know out here a little ways i'll probably have to level out the ground a little bit i don't know exactly which way i'm going to go if i'm going to have them come straight out here or if we're going to go off to this side or what but it's eventually going to come out here and then there's a door on one of those and that'll be for the chickens to go out in free range Free range is why we really got the chickens and even the ducks. Uh, so we're not, we didn't get chickens or ducks that are like high egg producers. Uh, we're not really concerned about that. What we got them for was pest control, insect control. Because we have all of this land for our dog and our kids to play on. We don't want them getting bit by ticks or you know other bugs or anything. Uh, so we got some chickens and ducks to take care of all the bugs figuring that when we plant a garden they'll go in they might eat a couple of the vegetables or something let's face it a chicken might see a tomato and just go I really want a tomato today it's hot out I'm gonna eat this tomato that's fine whatever but they're also gonna eat the bugs that are eating the rest of the tomatoes or the beans or the whatever we decide to grow um, which reminds me I really got to get started on that soon <coughs> so that's what I'm doing today, is getting a place for the chickens to live in this wonderful barn. Well, my sister-in-law was just visiting and she just left. So while I'm up here, I'll show you the dog kennel I was talking about earlier. As you can see, it is a uh, heavy still. Daughter's coming out. And there's a little gate here, a little door. Hi, girly. And that way, we can lock the chickens in and out. You want to see the chicken coop? Let's go down to the barn. It's not really a chicken coop yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> so what do you think? No, it doesn't look like a chicken coop yet. But this door is going to go right where you guys are. So that way when we close this, I'm gonna lock you in. You see how there's a gap right here? Mm -hmm. Some predators can sneak through there and get into the chicken coop. 
That would be bad, Weasel. right, Zen? <coughs> like weasels, that's right. You've been listening to mom. <laughs> so, <coughs> when I'm building... <coughs> no, is it's going to go right here. And it's going to fit from this door jam to that side. And that way they can't get through. What do you guys think? It'll be like a castle wall. Yeah, it'll stop them from getting it. Up to the ceiling? Fairies live in castles. Fairies live in castles too. Uh -huh. Do they live in chicken coops? No. Why not? Because. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Declan, where are you going? You walking in the river? The mighty Mississippi there? Huh? You said the mighty Mississippi? Yeah. So I that it's kind of deep. <laughs> I see Sawyer's getting ready to come out too with Mama. Because. All right, back to building. You want to know what this is? Uh -huh. This is a stapler. What that? It shoots staples. Uh -huh. Now I got to pick up all those staples. But basically, you see how it's putting these little staples in? Uh -huh. You take this and you just go, psh, bam, and it stays down. Bam. Sure. Here, we'll put it right there. And you gotta press, so be very careful. You don't wanna get your fingers between there because you can get a nasty blister. And you just gotta press really hard. Really hard, oh my yeah. goodness. It's pretty tough, huh? Mm -hmm. Here, go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Steady. I can't tell where it is, but I'm trying to. Help. Ah. All right, here, I'll help you. Ready? Mm -hmm. Put your hand on there. It's pretty tough, huh? All right, I'm gonna do the rest, okay? Okay, I'm done if you hold it up. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You, have you to could be your. So we've actually um, time traveled a little bit. It's a few days after the last portion of this video. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, my little girl Sawyer has decided to come out and help me with this. Um, she's got her little snack. She brought an apple with her. How's your apple? Is it good? Jackets, no, I go ahead. How's your apple? You can take a bite. Oh, she loves apples. Apples are good for you. So she decided to come down and help me show you what I had finished because my camera died um, at the end of that last clip. So I had to finish without you guys being able to see what was going on. And like I said, it's a few days later. I got caught up with work and a few other things. So. Here we are, and I'll show you what I uh, managed to finish. Can you help me open the door? No. Here, it's that door. Here, we'll put the shovel away. We don't need the shovel right now. We'll put that over here. And then you have to help me with the door. Oh, that apple's super good. Hey, Grace. There's my dog, Grace. Come here. Come here. Hey. Oh, you're not listening right now. <laughs> Grace, here. Here. She doesn't like going through the horse stalls. <laughs> you found a baseball. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you gonna help me? You just wanted to run around today. Okay. I believe I left off um, <coughs> and I was working on the wire mesh. Uh, so. Here you go. Look at that. Can't get through there, because there's a wire mesh screen blocking you. What do you think? You think that's weasel proof? Is it weasel proof? Mm. Yeah, look at that. Even your fingers are having a hard time getting through. Mm. So it's not secured to drop out this way, because when the door's there, we're not too worried about this falling out. This way, I put a little stopper here, that stops it from falling in on the chickens or getting pushed in by an animal. Um, and it's not perfectly flush. Because I actually, when I started this, I made it for that door, forgetting that that door is the one that seals. And this is the one with the uh, big opening in it. Um, some people might be wondering why I went with the, what is this half inch wire mesh. And that's because weasels and stuff can't fit through here. 
chicken wire with the one inch holes, they can spread that apart a little bit and get through. But with this, they can't. So this will keep the chicken safe. That's my hope. You wanna go in? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You wanna go see the new ch chicken coop? We haven't done much work on it yet. We're gonna do a lot of work on it this weekend. What do you think? Is, is this a good room to dance? Can, you wanna do a little dance in here? <laughs> yeah, you wanna go out there? No. Yes, you mean yes. So as my daughter and I step outside, woo, big step, and it's a little icy right here. That's okay. Uh, like I said, it's a few days later, so there's no more snow up on the roof of the barn. And the snow out here is all melting. What do you think, Sawyer? Are you excited? It's like spring. I know. Woo! Oh. Hopefully you didn't see the dog going to bathroom back there. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me switch hands. <clears throat> so that first little tiny project is done. Um, I finished that. I, I, like I said, the end of the last video. Now we just need to figure out the rest of the chicken coop. <clears throat> Are you excited for the chicken coop? Yeah. You gonna help more on part two? Yeah, part two. You're gonna help. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in next time.